Hey, 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 this boat doctor. Hey, Dan. Hey, you keep your boat nice. You got all this stuff nice and arranged. Keep it clean and straight. That's cool. Uh, rear deck steering. All you have to do, I know you know how to turn it on. But all you do, this is independent. So you just got to remember, I see you got a radar up there, but you must have just installed it because there's no Ethernet cable. So you need to have that hooked up to an Ethernet cable and hub to drop it down to that unit. I think you could just go right to the back of the unit, but if you want it on here, you need an expander box that you can hook another Ethernet cable from here to here. And then even if that went out, if you care, you did an extra long Ethernet cable that would come from there all the way, and you could plug back, if that unit went out, then you could have radar back here as well. And uh, now you can say, later, don't remind. I did hook up an A-scope, and I'll show you all that when I'm out there. And you went ahead and went the bow mount. And this is going to be a little more bow heavy coming off the trailer. It's just because of the weight of the batteries that are right here in your battery charger. There's your plug in. You got your other battery over here. And uh, those 36 volt Minnecotas, boy, they got some pushing power. So, anyway, we're going to go out here. Got this thing fired up. So if you're here and you don't want to walk, just grab this, pull yourself in, and step right out. Oh, heater. Hey, I hope you don't mind. I, I'm going to use your heater. See, it's working. Uh, actually, I like that. It's a no fuss, no muss type style of heater. I almost like them better than the Wallace. They're the aftermarket, but I'll tell you, I've seen one other guy, like I said, that had one of those, and I was impressed. And I leave my bumpers out until I get where I'm going. I want to get away from the dock first. Because you never know what can happen. That way I got some protection. See? Now there's your fish symbols. But that's not a sonar. This is what I call the no fuss, no muss setup for your sonar. See all your bait you got right there? <laughs> okay. So I got just fish symbols only on this one, and then fish symbols on this one. And just so you know, this is down scan, this is side scan. On those, you cannot get fish symbols. These you can. Okay. See, you'll see your fish now right in here, but you'll get both. Man, there is a lot of bait or fish in here, but they're probably just some needle fish. Look, see, you see it here? You see it here? Now, I've seen one fish right into there. Now, if you don't want these big numbers plastered right on here, you can get, get rid of them. Just hit your power key, and then uh, whoop, start trip. That'll start your track line. And uh, instrument bar, if I hit that, that's going to take that instrument bar off, right? But I want that on, so I'm going to put that back on. So now, if I want these off, I don't know if I can get those off or not. I'm going to have to go back to that, but I'm sure I can. I'm going to go into here. So now we're out out in the water so now what I can do oh that's nice to have heat so I pop this up and put this up here shut the door start trip up oh. see you got your fish symbols right there they're not very big but they're there boy there is a ton of bait I think I'd be starting to fish. Now, there's salmon in here. That's just a little shit, but there is. I've spotted and uh, marked some salmon. So if I go to Echo, see there's your little fish. They're very small though, so it's hard to see them. But I put an A scope up here, an aptitude scope. Uh, so if these colors right here show up here and then go over here, that's actually living. If it's blue, nah, not so much. 
But if you see a big bait ball, this orange, brownish color like the bottom here, and then you see an arch or you see your fish, that 10 to one, that's a, the brighter that color, the bigger the fish. See, there's a little yellow one there, nothing big, but it was at 20 feet. Yep, right here, you got some more bait. There's your little fish again. But like I say, if you go back into here, uh, go to your down stand, you got fish right here, these arches. This is called fish reveal right here. See how this colored like this? When you get the colors in here and then you get a big, like these colors, a big blotch in there, and then these colors, that's a fish, okay? But they're not gonna show the symbols. They, they're gonna show these colors that pop up. Just so you know, that's and then side scan, same way. So no fish, or no fish, but the colored marks is kind of what they call fish reveal. And you've got to have this set on four, in shallower water, like zero to maybe 300 feet, I would run 55 kilohertz, which is right here. Deeper water, you run the 800. Now on the traditional, like this echo here, I'm at 200 kilohertz. You can go to chirp if you want to, but zero to 300, 400, you could run 200 kilohertz, especially if you're like 100, zero to 150, uh, I wouldn't even use the chirp, I'd go to 200. Now this is all this little sediment, plus there's these little needlefish or whatever you want to call them out here. Uh, they got another word for them, but I can't think of it. But them are, see right there, there's no colors I'd be really concerned about. Now, on these numbers, I don't know. I'm going to go to menu. Now here's your range. So now say you hit that, you see you're in deeper water and you can't see the bottom, that's when you scroll up here and get this thing off auto. You can go down to 3,000 feet, but I'm gonna leave it on auto. Here's your frequencies. Now you can run medium chirp, high chirp, don't run 83 in shallower water. That's for deeper water. And there's your fish, like I say, right there. Boy, that thing puts out some heat, man. That's a cool heater. Gotta get the name of that, color something. Color Y, because that's a ticket. Did a good job on that too, by the way. Okay, so if I see fish there, I can go to my down scan. If I see it typically here, like I say, it's right there, there's an arch. So that's probably a fish and it's down to, I put in range lines, so that's about 30 feet. And again, you're not gonna have radar yet. I see you got your radar, it's gonna say no radar when this pops up. See, that means you don't have no ethernet cable from that unit plugged into here. And again, if you want it here and there, then you gotta get a hub, an internet hub, ethernet hub, that hooks that into that, into this, and then another port to hook to that, back to that. So, but I would get me an extra extension line. I'd hook it up the right way if you were gonna do that, but carry another line that could reach from here to there because then you could run, just pop that into that ethernet hub and put it back there and this unit could go out and you'd have GPS, radar, and sonar. So, just so you know. Now I left your north ups and stuff alone because, um, wow, that sucker puts out the heat. That's quick. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Huh. Oh, but I did set you up kind of a cool one here. This is under a combo. So now what you got is you got your fish symbols and I'm gonna show you how to get to that. Okay, if you hit this, and this is highlighted, which it is in orange all the way around, then you can hit the menu button. Here's your frequencies gain, advanced. Now TVG, I normally put it two. You had it at three and one was at one. Okay, more options. Here's your palette colors where you can change those colors. Then you got a depth line and an A scope is this. And I hit that. Down scan overlay options that keep away from that. Pause is what stops the sonar. So if this thing doesn't isn't working, you go to here where it says pause, and if it's checked, that's why. Now, here's fish ID. You hit that. You can put symbols, that's a fish, depths, or you can do both, or you can turn it off. So on this one it is on both. And uh, and, and I turn the beeps. If you want the beeps, you can just hit that there. That drives me nuts. So, and see how you got fish right there. Typically, see all this noise you got right going on right here. 
and you got the, you see the fish here if you see a fish on this screen and you see it orange over here and you see it over here see that fish right there at 10 feet 10 feet as typically it's living and it's of some size this cuts out all the clutter and then down here like again you'll see the orange right there that's the fish again that's your clear view which you're not going to see a symbol okay and then actually when you have it on this what you could do is actually since you got these numbers popping up you can go whip, go into here go into power cut off your instrument bar on that one go back and see then you get more room on your displays then you can adjust the size split too like going into here if I want to go adjust size split see I can cut this to any size I want and then just hit save so that's probably where I would leave this one because those numbers are pretty big and uh, I don't know if I can get out of that or not but how to add one you probably know just hit the plus and then you could hit charts you could hit radar you could hit echo you could hit nav so when you get your radar hooked up and I'll just put that up there and then save it and then you got your bars over here so radar is not going to be working yet because it's not hooked up okay so let's see what else can I show you I turn on alarms you just go into here and then you can turn on your fish alarm if you want you just go to settings and then just tap that Okay, and you had it set for six. I'll leave it there. I normally go ten. And then you can just go like this. So here's your, and then there would be another combo that you probably set up here when you get ready. And then I'm just going to make sure that that, more options, down scan overlay, yeah, see fish ID both. So that means you're going to get the arch, you're going to get the fish, and you're going to get the depth. Okay, so. This is your home button. Uh, I don't know what else you wanted me to set, but I set both of those like for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go into here. You're gonna hit this button, two more options. Fish ID both. See, so those there isn't really fish, so you're not gonna see a fish right there. That's just noise, okay? And then the same thing I set back here for you. I set you the same screen over here. There's some fish down here. And this is, these are more sensitive. See how it says 200? This is a, this, a sonar, but I just put it on this where it has no surface noise. And all you see is a symbol, which I can hit here and cross check it. Symbol right here. So that should probably was your problem before. Uh, down scan, yep, that's working good. Side scan, and go into menu, left and right, good enough, 455, that's what you want. If you had this set at 800 kilohertz in here, you wouldn't see any fish, just to let you know. And then again, to get you a combo, I'll put charts, I'll put radar, I'll put echo, and I'll put, uh, say, instruments right there, say. And there's your instruments. If you want to change that, you hit that. You hit this, that basic. I can go digital right here. Now, back here, I'm going to see <coughs> why you're not getting a depth finder <coughs> on these numbers. So you just hit here. Uh, remove, oh, ah, exit. Okay, and then here, I'm gonna zoom in on that. Color cursor, boom, color cursor. Right. I'm gonna spread out on that. Oh, okay. See, even here, see how, like on this one, on charts. Now, come on, baby. Right here. See how you're getting all that? Because you're on insight, right? So back here, you notice you're not getting that. 
So clear cursor, I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna to go to overlay more options. You got it on north up. I'm gonna leave that because you probably like that. Uh, then it says chart US source, right? I'm gonna to go to Navionics and see if that helps. No. So on this one here, since you're not hooked up to that unit, which you could be if you wanted to, you don't have, you need to get a map, like Insight map card, because these two should be talking though, actually, because I think you got, nope, you have no NEMA 2000 cable back here. But if you ran a, say a network cable back here, well, I better get out of here, then you could use the card that's in that one. But so for right now, if you're going to run this independent, you need to get another Insight or Navionic Plus card, which I would get. I'd get the Navionic Platinum Plus. Then you got fishing contours that you wouldn't believe, right? So right now you have not much choice back here because I can hit this, more options, Navionic, see map. That's just kind of a base map, right? See, right there, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You still get your, still get your depths, still get your buoys. So, you know, but again, if you really want some fishing contours, you get that Navionic Plus Platinum card, man. I'm telling you, it, it's nice. Uh, so anyway, we'll go back. So that's working. So then we go to Echo again. And again, there's no fish to pop up, but you gotta remember them fish symbols are small. Okay, now the th you're not getting a depth reading right here, right? So you gotta hit this and then hit menu and then edit, go to depth. Then you need to go down to here where it says depth, right here. And you need to select data source, get this device. Now you should get a depth reading right there again because these aren't hooked up you got to set this independently so then i go out of here i want water temperature same thing water temp i have to hit this little menu this little card data source go nine boom there's your water temp okay then i'm going to go back in which i know you wouldn't have it back here because it'd be hooked up here so anyway let's go into uh uh down scan yep your everything you can get there is there uh let's go back here 33 63 you're looking good charts you're looking good okay i need to be over there clear cursor then i'll go back over here i'll go to combos yep so you got a fish there you got a fish there so and you got your temperatures and all that good stuff right there and so you really don't need on this you don't really need these data bars like i said so you can hit your power and you can just go instrument bars kick them off okay and then i can go back to charts make sure yep there you go okay i'm going to shut this off because it's plenty hot Oop. there you go that's pretty easy to operate actually Okay, so we got that. You gotta make sure you're getting your depths. Yes, you are. You're getting your fish symbols. Yes, you are. Now we're gonna go on to that bow mount, okay? So right now, I'm gonna go into here, into the combos again. And since you don't have radar, let's just do this one. And that gives me the combo of the depth finder data and my GPS, okay? Or your GPS, I should say. So pop this open, get up here. It looks like you're gonna put an anchor nest up here too. All you have to do is hit this on, make sure this is off. And what I would do is take this and push that down because you don't want this to land on it and shove it up or you'll put it into a stall mode and then you'll be calling me. So when I'm doing that, I can crank the wheel. That's why I like rear deck steering. Come back here, shut the door, keep some of the heat in here that I had. Your remotes. Ha, ah, right here. Okay, now this is what's important. Okay, the check mark turns it on. Right there. I'm gonna put this right here. 
Now, when you're deploying these and bringing these up, don't try to keep it down to three miles an hour. I'm at three there, 2.9. You don't want to be bringing that up if you got a lot of push on it. 